Researchers are calling this new combination of drugs a breakthrough in tuberculosis treatment. In clinical trials, it killed more than 99% of the TB bacteria in infected patients within two weeks. Dr. Dan Everett, one of the researchers studying the new drugs, is a senior medical officer at TB Alliance, a private group that promotes the development of new treatments for TB. He says this new cocktail is good news for the millions of people infected with both TB and HIV. This drug regimen, we do not expect to have any worrisome interactions with the medicines used to treat HIV. The current regimen that's used commonly to treat HIV and to treat tuberculosis in patients with HIV infection causes some very troublesome and difficult interactions with the, the drugs for HIV infection. Dr. Gottfried Hunschall directs the HIV AIDS program at the World Health Organization. He told VOA via Skype that TB and HIV co-infections are so common that not treating TB in an HIV patient would be a missed opportunity to safeguard public health. So we would like to very much bring these HIV services and HIV programs much more closer to the TB services and TB programs. The new drug combination will provide faster and easier treatment and tackle the growing problem of drug resistance in both TB and HIV patients, says Dr. Everett. So if you can imagine five to seven drugs for TB plus three drugs for HIV infection plus a couple of more, it's a huge amount of drugs with all their interactions and side effects. So this we hope will be a four-month regimen of just three drugs, which will be a major step forward for patients with HIV that have to take so many drugs currently. Authors of the study say the new three-drug cocktail also promises to eliminate the need of injectables in treating multidrug-resistant TB and extremely drug-resistant TB, and it could slash the cost of TB treatment by 90%. Vidushi Sinha, VOA News, Washington.